welcome to JCE connect in the earlier presentations we had seen bituminous material basic tests on bituminous material right and uh, today we'll discuss on difference between bitumen and tar bitumen is uh, found in black to brown in color dark black color and uh, tar is usually found in brown color with respect to physical appearance next is with respect to its origin that is bitumen is obtained from fractional distillation of crude oil fractional distillation here the crude oil uh, uh, which is obtained from the wells that is uh, passed through the uh, or heated and it is with respect to the boiling temperature it is differentiated from uh, at the bottom which is having highest boiling point of uh, 300 to 350 plus is uh, bitumen oh, on that uh, uh, maybe you'll see the process and so here we can see the process there here in left side crude oil is passed through the fur furnace through the pipes and that is heated and uh, uh, we are getting uh, that is bitumen at the bottom which is having a highest uh, boiling point more than 350 degrees celsius then uh, lubricating oils uh, fuel oil for uh, uh, ships then diesel then uh, paraffin like this you will observe uh, the fractional distillation of the crude oil from this process we are getting the vitamin whereas in case of tar it is destructive distillation destructive distillation of wood and coal So here you can see this powdered coal is uh, heated and uh, that is uh, passed through the uh, that is passed through the water and this uh, dissolves ammonia to form ammonical liquor and at the bottom we have coal tar and so this is destructive distillation process to get the coal tar which is brown in color bitumen is soluble in carbon disulfide and carbon tetrachloride whereas tar is soluble in chlorine next is the molecular weight range for road bitumen is 400 to 5000 whereas for the tar in tar molecular weight of road tar is 150 to 3000 and next is bitumen consists of large amount of aromatic hydrocarbon whereas tar consists of large amount of oily matter with the lower molecular weight this aromatic hydrocarbon is nothing but a hexagonal compound where examples of benzene toluene will come into picture next is bitumen show resistance to coating whereas tar coats more easily and remain it retain it better in the presence of water so by this we can say uh, uh, the resistance is more means for uh, patchworks hmm? we can use tar rather than bitumen next we'll discuss on requirements of bitumen the desirable properties of bitumen depends on the 
mix type and the construction in general uh, bitumen should possess the following desirable properties bitumen should be highly temperature susceptible that is during hot weather condition or hottest maximum temperature the mix should not become too soft or unstable and during cold weather the mix should not become too brittle or causing formation of cracks it fails next is the viscosity of bitumen at the time of mixing and compaction should be adequate it is very important because we are mixing and compacting at higher temperature uh, this can be achieved by use of cutbacks or emulsions of suitable grade or by heating the bitumen and aggregates prior to the mixing yes most of the time this is followed aggregates are preheated and bitumen is also heated then it is mixed together next is there should be adequate affinity and adhesion between the bitumen and aggregates used in the mix so with the adhesion only there will be a proper bonding between the aggregate and the bitumen if the aggregate surface is uh, smooth then uh, bitumen is having not having proper uh, coating properties then it is difficult to maintain the good pavement structure the pavement fails because of improper bonding between the aggregate and bitumen thank you very much